Assalamualaikum. This is our model for controlling a position of a DC motor. DC motor have a built-in encoder, which has two sensors, all effect sensors, sensor A and B. This our model is a simulink model, and I can run it into the hardware in a real time. No, how our model is working? Let us discuss this. Our as earlier, I discussed that we have built-in encoder of motor sensor, half sensor A and B. Pin number of half sensor A is connected to the Arduino, pin number 2 and half sensor B is connected to the pin number 3. Now, half sensor, I want to detect the edges, mean changing in that encoder half sensor A to count the pulses. That's why I use detect edges block. Why I use interrupt pin? It is a very good question because if if you want to detect any change, so you have to use the interrupt pin. After that, I have to convert into the integer value. So I use data conversion block and uh, you can also use integer, but I use double here. After uh, detecting the pulse, you have to count the pulses. For that, you can use if and else condition. Because your motor can move in clockwise direction and counterclockwise direction also. When your motor move in clockwise direction, I show you how it is working. If your motor is moving in clockwise direction, your pulse A should be high and all sensor pulse B should be low. If that condition is true, it should mean it is moving in a clockwise direction and pulses should be added like that. Pulse as an input into the addition block. After some uh, delay, it should add and go to the output. This block should be working till if condition is true here. After that, as condition will be true when our motor will be rotating in counterclockwise direction. How it will behave like if the hall sensor should be one and B should also be one. If when both are one, meaning both are high. It means your motor is moving in the counterclockwise direction. This else, else block will be called. In this, you have to subtract the pulses like that after some delay. This addition block is used for the counting the pulses. Like that, uh, I explain you if your motor is, if you remove, move your motor in clockwise direction in 20 pulses. It should add to the 20. But from here, you move back to the minus 20, mean from where it started origin. And you rotate the motor in counterclockwise direction. It should subtract pulses. After minus 20 pulses, it should be reached here from the starting point. That's why it is used for addition and it is for subtraction. After that, it should add for counting the pulses. Till here, I can count pulses by the my by my sensors. This is block is for the PID system. 480 pulses is the target point because uh, my motor generate 480 pulses for one revolution. I want to move it in the one move in one revolution. And that's why I give it 480. And this is the my sensor feedback. The target value is generated by uh, subtracting the feedback value to the target value here uh, and error is fed into the PID controller. It is a built-in PID discrete, uh, discrete PID controller. I tune PID controller by hit and trial method. I got P0.53, I0.05, 0 0.4. Uh, after the PID controller, I use saturation to limit the value 0 to 255. Why I you limit the 0 to 255? Because uh, my motor work between 0 to 255 PWM value. If my uh, input is uh, above the 220, uh, 255, in any case, it should it will be considered that value. For example, uh, sensor uh, error give it 233, uh, 333. It will consider 333 as a 255. After that, this signal is feed into the Arduino PWM pin number 9 where motor is connected. That is all the system, how it will work and count the position. Now I will show you the hardware setup 
and uh, working of the project. This is the same model as previous, but have additional some steps to calculate the angle by using the pulses. Where is the formula for calculating the data by using the pulses input? How is it working that pulses coming from here after the addition block multiplying by 360 is the product of by 360 and driven by the call resolution. Call resolution means that how pulses generated your motor when it when it move in a one set so one rotation it done one rotation in pulse generated in one rotation is a code resolution and it is divided by a, a 360 multiply by dial pulses for it to be and by <clears throat> inputting from the uh, product block after that it will uh, display you angle by using the pulses <clears throat> 